Richardsville Elementary School, located in Warren County, Kentucky, became the first public Nazira school in 2010, where they use renewable resources to produce clean energy so that they can offset their energy bill. Jay Wilson, the energy manager, explains. Uh, with Richardsville Elementary School, we found that we could not only offset the cost of our school's utility budget, but actually be a net positive school. At the end of each year, we've been able to receive from our utility company a check of about $30,000. And that's without paying a utility bill all year long. Plus that $30,000 then is coming back to our general funds. A typical school uses 75% more energy than that of a net zero school. To being considered net zero, a building has to produce as much energy as it consumes in a year, but this school actually produces more than it uses. That is why they receive a check of $30,000 from the energy company, as well as diminish a $200,000 energy bill they would have to pay. They were able to do this because the architects who designed it to use less energy, as well as planned for clean energy initiatives to be implemented throughout the building. Kenny Stanfield, the principal architect on the building, explains. Richardsville is um, constructed of insulated concrete forms. Uh, they look like giant styrofoam Legos and you stack them together and fill them with concrete and then that becomes your um, uh, structure of the building. And so it's, it's a, an incredibly well insulated system. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the building configuration is very simple. It's a compact box. Well, that was done for a reason because the more you can make the building compact in plan and volume, you don't have near as much exposure to the outside. Many of the other design factors that contribute to less energy usage is the fact that they run off of geothermal and solar energy, as well as use solar tubes which direct light into classrooms so that they don't use their lights as often. The determining factor in designing this was not only for the environment, but also for the kids. Morgan Watson, the PR manager, explains. We see students who are taking the initiative to put recycling bins not only here at school but also carrying that home. We see community uh, who's bought into this idea that they can make a difference just one person. And so that's not something that you see um, every day, especially in rural Kentucky. If all you're doing is saving energy and you're not teaching the next generation about it, it's just going to die here. You know, we need that message to be loud and clear because it's the next generation that's going to have the greatest impact on policies, procedures, and things we do to protect the environment and change the, the whole uh, how, how energy use is affecting climate change. The money being saved by not having an energy bill is being redirected to the teachers as well as the classroom for students. A lot of folks don't realize that the same pot of money that pays teacher salaries is the same pot of money that pays the utility bills. And so if we can take a new school and reduce energy consumption by 75 percent, well that's a lot of money that can go to student achievement. Looking ahead towards the future, Warren County already has eight net zero ready schools in the works for the up and coming years. Their goal, as well as Kinney's goal, is to make net zero schools a common place across the U.S. There's something here that's for everybody. And everyone should be able to come together and say, this is simply the best way that we can design a learning environment for our students and then protect the environment for future generations.